lot of people know about Adriatic metals, so I'm not going to focus too much on what we've done and, and where we're going. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the company. We're only a young company. We were founded in 2017. We listed in 2018. Uh, we discovered a world-class deposit, and that deposit has now been through its scoping study, its pre-feasibility, its definitive feasibility. It is fully financed. It is in construction. It will produce first concentrates in late Q1 or early Q2 2023. Um, uh, so the company has achieved a lot uh, in a relatively short period of time, uh, and that is because we are determined to give our shareholders the best return possible. And as you all know, returns are a function of time. Um, in terms of where we have seen the company's shareholder structure move from very much founder orientated, and we've started to see that diluted down, to now having a great registry of global institutional funds, particularly funds that have a focus on ESG. Now, we've all heard a lot about ESG uh, over the past several days, and we probably will continue to hear more about ESG in the wake of COP26 and other events globally where there is an increased focus on decarbonisation. And in the mining industry, we actually do it pretty badly because we think that ESG is decarbonisation, but it's not. It's so much more than just that. That is just one aspect. That's a capital intensive aspect. But there are many things that we can do as organisations, as companies, which can create a far better legacy for our industry than what we've had in the past 20, 30, 40 years. At Adriatic, we're a European company. We have a European asset. We have a European strategy. And that strategy I'd like to expand on a little bit today because it very much stems from our approach toward ESG. Although I, dis I absolutely despise you know, the, the abbreviation ESG. I think it just pays a disservice to the entire uh, concept of what we're trying to achieve. I think if you look at companies like Adriatic and you look at the way they've implemented a number of policies, procedures, uh, a number of initiatives that are designed to create a far lower natural environmental impact. We are always going to create an impact, but we've got to minimise it. We've got to look at our communities and we've got to integrate into them. And so where we've started this is at the very top of the organisation. And we've said, what do we want as a board? Well, we're going to set up a committee that looks at this constantly. We've got really good advisors. We have a company in London called Critical Resource. They're expensive, but they're worth it. And they help advise us on how we want to take this concept and move it forward. And we've done that by looking at things like, what is our corporate culture? In our corporate culture, we have a number of key values. There's a five one-sentence buzz lines that we make all of our staff live. One of them is we align to the aspirations of our communities. And that is a key important value for the company because it says that we're not just going to fit in to our local community, right? We're going to work out what they want to be and we're going to align ourselves with that. And that has been fundamental in the way we have garnished our support for our project. Four years ago, when I did the rounds of London trying to float this company, everyone said to me, you can, never pro you can never permit a mine in Bosnia. No one's ever done it before. Well, we did it. We did it really quickly. And the reason we did it really quickly is we had that local support. We had that local support because we lived in the town. We employed people from the local town. We listen to what they want. And if you look at what we've done now, the Adriatic Foundation, a charity, has about a million euros in funding to go and create initiatives and projects with other NGOs that look at what the town needs. Now, the foundation was not just a, a, uh, an idea we thought, we'll just set up a charity. It was a product of looking at the taxation system in Bosnia and realising what would not and what would get funded by the proceeds of the project. So we looked at the gaps, we set up the foundation, that, is now, that now exists, and that has won us a lot of support. 
We've then looked at a number of other initiatives. We looked at the local healthcare system in the town. How do we fix that? Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a healthcare policy for our staff that encourages a private health provider to set up a new clinic in the town that can be provided to everybody, not just our staff and their families. How have we looked at uh, education? Well, we've invested over a million US dollars in training programs. And those training programs are not just for our staff. We're training kids in high schools on earth sciences. We're teaching them early about the benefits of this industry and what it can be. And we've taken <coughs> an entire holistic approach to how we integrate into our community. Um, we've done very, very detailed, very, very expensive environmental studies. We've just completed an ESIA. One of our shareholders is the European Bank of Reconstruction and Development. And if you think you're going to take shortcuts with them, think again. They check everything, right? So we have had that endorsed by them. We now have a community engagement program where people are looking at the impact of the project on the environment. I've just approved a 100,000 euro underpass for five bears on a hall road. 400 metres of natural fencing, an underpass that has been specifically designed to create an environment for bears and we will allow those bears to cross that road without ever having to go over it. These are the things we do, but if we look at that more holistically and we say, well, as a company, we've actually got a commitment to making our impact on the community and the environment zero, but we want to try and create more from it. We've developed policies in terms of our staff, in terms of recruitment. We recruit local. We know that there is a brain drain happening in Bosnia. The German government, the Austrian governments have made it really easy for Bosnian kids to go and work there and they are leaving in droves. So we're creating jobs. But we're not just creating jobs, we've reset a minimum wage. We're offering packages of training, development that will encourage people to stay and have a career in Bosnia. Um, we're doing the same thing in Serbia. So we're going to continue with all of these little things that all form part of what we know as ESG that is designed to have a positive, not a neutral impact, but a positive impact on both our natural environment and our built-up environment and the community which we operate. And if we take that, the strategy for Adriatic Metals as a company, when we set it up in 2017, we were looking for European projects. That was about Europe needing primary supply. All right? Supply chains are getting more and more fragile. We've seen that really exacerbated during COVID. We've got the European Raw Materials Initiative that is designed to try and help encourage primary producers to create raw metals. We get inbounded calls from industrial companies all over Europe looking for materials. And we know that Europe needs its own mining industry. But Europe is a continent of villages. And in those villages, it's not people who are you know, growing crops and, and, and illiterate. These are people who are retired judges, lawyers, bankers. They want to have a lifestyle in that environment that we have to preserve. And if we consider those communities, if we consider what they want, we can actually create underground mines, even small open pit mines across Europe that have a minimal impact on those communities. And that is the strategy of Adriatic. So you will see us develop the Varish project in Bosnia. You will see us develop the Raska project in Serbia that we already have. You will see us in 2022 make further acquisitions of projects where we believe that they can be developed in a sympathetic way to that natural environment and to that community. Uh, and we are looking forward to being a major contributor to the European mining industry. Thank you.